Landing pages are the biggest money printers of the 21st century and mastering them is going to allow you to actually sell landing pages to businesses for thousands of dollars for just a couple of hours of work. And in this video, I'm going to give you the complete breakdown on exactly how I'm talking the exact frameworks, structures and templates that I've used to create landing pages that generate over a hundred thousand dollars every single month. So just in case we have never met before, my name is Tyson. I am a copywriter and on this YouTube YouTube channel, I upload everything you need to know to become a full time copywriter, making at least five to ten thousand dollars every single month. I'm talking about free two hour courses on how to get clients, free four hour courses on the basics of copywriting, one hour courses, two hour courses on AI copywriting, email copywriting, and literally every single thing that you need for completely free. If you're looking to monetize some skills, and start making money online as fast as possible without some $1,500 course being pushed on your throat, then you have come to the right place, my friend. So without any further ado, let us get right into it. So how to create landing pages that practically print money, all right? And when I say practically print money, I mean you create a landing page, all you need to do then, right, is for the business or for whoever to get people to that landing page. Maybe they make a post, maybe they pay somebody else to post, maybe they run ads, it doesn't really matter. People come there, they see it, they see your amazing sales page, they buy it, they make money, and you make money too. Building landing pages is one of the most lucrative skills on the planet. Every single business, every single business in the world has some sort of landing page. In this masterclass, I'm revealing exactly how to create landing pages that generate $100,000 plus every single month, okay? From opt-in pages, registration pages, sales pages, and everything in between. If you don't know the difference between all those, hey man, we're gonna get right into it. So what even is a landing page to begin with. What is a landing page? A landing page is similar to a website. Okay, so it's kind of like a website, has a URL just like a website, except the key difference being its goal is to steer you towards one action. That action can be to either purchase or sign up or watch a video, etc. Okay, so a website is where you go and you, you know, you're, you're on a website, it says, okay, sign in or you can learn about us, or you can go here, or you can go there. There's like a whole bunch of navigation. It's like, a, it's like a hub, right, for you to go and click on different links. That's not what a landing page is. A landing page is you open up the, the URL, you have one specific goal that someone's trying to give you, right? So they're like, okay, well, buy this, or fill out this information, or watch this video. That's all it is. And the reason as to why they are a lot more effective than, say, a website is because they're singular focused. Okay, they're singular focused. They give you one option. Why can landing pages make you filthy rich? Like, like why? Like, who cares? First of all, infinite profits. Okay, craft one high, convert, high converting effective landing page and it can be used to generate profit for years to come. Okay. You put up one landing page, you make it one time and it always, always, always creates um, income. Next is that it's very easily trackable. Analytics let you know the exact rate at which people are engaging, give you an easy way to justify your prices. Okay, so let's say, for example, um, your client has a sales, their client's sales pages usually get, let's say, a 3% conversion rate, right? So if you came in there and crafted them this whole landing page and got them a 6% conversion rate, essentially what you're doing is doubling, you are literally doubling their whole income by taking it just from 3% to 6%. So where do you think all that credit is gonna to go towards? It's gonna to go towards you because you're able to track how good your sales page actually is and how well it's performing. Um, next, of course. And it also goes with optim optimizing, right? So let's say you have a sales page and you're thinking, hmm, I wonder if I, if I change the, uh, the headline or change something about it, change where the button is, what kind of difference it would make? Well, you can track that. Right? It's called A-B split testing. We're going to talk about it a little bit more as we go on. But you take sales page number one, sales page number two, and you test which one has better numbers. And that's how you can com come up and create the absolute best sales page possible. Next of all, they're quick to create. Effective landing pages can take as little as a few hours to create and integrate because you can make thousands from, them, uh, thousands from each of them. This gives you a large earning potential. So here's the thing, right? You create one sales page, let's say it's like a cheap sales page, let's say it's a thousand bucks, right? The business owner who's making probably hundreds of thousands every single month, right? They're going to be making bank off that. They pay you a thousand bucks for that. I mean, that's nothing. A thousand bucks for one sales page is literally pocket change to them. And they get to make like a thousand times ROI on this, right? The return on investment is insane. So they're like, yeah, whatever, thousand dollars. 
And it only takes you a couple hours to create, right? And the reason as to why it works like this, right, is that everybody is so used to getting paid based on how long they work, right? So like an hourly rate. You go work at McDonald's, you go look, work at a fast food chain or at Walmart, they're going to say, all right, well, we're paying you $15 an hour. Whereas here, you're not getting paid for how long you work. You're getting paid for just how effective it is, right? So if your sales page is good enough to make people tens of thousands of dollars a day, right, then who cares if they pay you $1,000, $2,000, and it only takes you an hour? Because I'm telling you, if, if, if you were to just like really work hard on it and just knock out a sales page, complete deep work and just go for it, like what? Maybe eight hours, that, and that's pushing it. Like, like eight hours is being nice. Like you have a lot of time for eight hours, like realistically four to eight. Four to eight hours and you're making like a thousand bucks plus. Not too bad of an ROI, right? You make three, four sales pages a month, then you're definitely having a full-time income right there, okay? And then it just comes down to getting clients once you actually know this skill. And again, that is no secret either because I have a free two-hour course and a free, another free, I have multiple free courses on how to get clients. I mean, the skill, the skill takes care of itself. As long as you uh, watch, you learn, and implement everything that I'm showing you, man, it's, it's literally just a matter of time. Next of all is there's a gigantic demand for sales pages. Man, every single internet business, Every single internet business needs multiple sales pages created throughout their lifetime. My small business has required about 10 landing pages in uh, 2023, right? So just in 2023, where my, my business basically started, we required over 10, right? From opt-in pages and registration pages and uh, everything else, sales pages, everything you could really imagine, right? So, I mean, you could, and that's just from one business, one small business. If you imagine if it's like, either an agency who's working for a bunch of businesses or you're working for a big, like two or three big businesses, how many they're going to need throughout the year. And then, of course, here comes the good part. You sell them the sales page, make them some money, and you have the skills to pay the bills. You have skills to do their email marketing. You have skills to do their uh, other copywriting. I mean, the, the sky's the limit here. Um, so what even makes a good landing page? So first of all, understanding the traffic that comes to the page. Where do they come from and what are they looking for? So for example... Not all landing pages are created equal. Some landing pages are in, let's say, the description of a YouTube video. Some landing page links might be on an ad. Some landing page links might be on an Instagram bio. Those are all three very, very, very different things, right? So why? On an Instagram bio, those have infamously low conversion rates because people on Instagram usually aren't looking to buy things and they're usually just surfing through, through, the, through their page, right? So... But when it comes to YouTube, right, a lot of the times if someone's watching a YouTube video, they are higher quality, uh, are higher quality traffic, right? So they're more likely to read through something longer. They're more likely to watch a longer video and things like this. Whereas people on Instagram, they're scrolling. They're basically, you know, Instagram kind of turned into TikTok. So understanding where the traffic comes from can help you decide exactly how you want to create and structure your landing page, which we'll get to the actual structure step by step in a bit. Effectively communicating a value and what they'll receive if they complete their desired action. So a very clear offer. Guys, when it comes to landing pages, pretty much the, the most important thing is to just concisely tell them what they get. Just concisely tell them what they get and how it's going to help them and why it's the proper thing to do and why whatever they're doing right now isn't going to work out the best in the long term. It's just not optimal. Okay. And of course, I'm going to be giving you guys like, I think it's like eight examples, eight landing page examples. So you just can't mess up here. Um, Creating a page that's visually appealing, concise, and flows well together. This takes a three out of 10 graphic design skill. Guys, designing these pages is not difficult. A lot of um, landing page builders like Kajabi or like uh, even the free ones like Squarespace or ClickFunnels, they all have templates. Super easy. You just fill them out. Boom. You do not have to be a graphic designer. So websites to build. Okay, so here are some. Here's some free ones. Canva, Wix, Squarespace. The most popular, ClickFunnels, Kajabi, ActiveCampaign. Okay, that should give you a little bit of a starting point. So if you want to just like play around with it and get started, those are some things that you can do. So the different types of landing pages. So people ask sometimes, what's the difference between a landing page and a sales page or a landing page and an opt-in page? Well, a, all of these are essentially types of landing pages. Okay, so first of all, we have opt-in pages. 
a page that gives the visitor a free resource or free something in exchange for their contact information. For example, their name, their email, or their phone number. Boom. A registration page is similar to an opt-in page with the key difference of being there is a live event taking place that the visitor is opting in for, right? So this is a webinar. This is a free live workshop, like these types of things. So almost the same thing, but slightly different. And then, of course, we have the sales page, which is a page with the goal to get the visitor to purchase a product. Very straightforward and simple. We're going to be looking at all three of these today, okay? And I want to spend like three seconds on talking about designing a visually appealing and user-friendly landing pages, okay? Because I'm telling you guys, do not let this deter you. Do not think you need to, like, you can waste a whole bunch of time trying to make it look good. It's not that deep. It's, it's really, really quite easy, right? There are a lot of pages that make a lot of money and they just have white background and some text on it, right? Now, personally, I like to add a little bit of pizzazz, right? So like this slideshow that you're looking at, for example, it's not complicated. It's all templatized. Like this is a whole template. I didn't spend two seconds designing it, but it still looks good. Right. So it doesn't take a whole bunch of effort. It doesn't take a whole bunch of time. You kind of just have to pick something and go. So clean and modern design, you want to opt for a sleek and minimalist design that enhances the user experience. OK, so very, very basic stuff. Responsive layout. You want to make sure that it looks good on computer and on phone screens. Right. This is something that a lot of people mess out on because let's say you create a landing page and you put it in your Instagram bio. Ninety nine percent of people are going to be opening that on their phone. And sometimes when you're creating a landing page, it looks great on the desktop version. But then you go look at the phone and it looks just weird. Things are just formatted weird. It's not in the right order and you have to fix it. Next of all, user friendly interface. OK, so create something intuitive that guides your visitors towards your desired action, right? So a lot of the times, sometimes people have a whole, like a whole bunch of stuff as soon as they get on the page and there's, you're supposed to be looking at this thing and this thing and this thing and this thing and it's too much, right? When they land on the page, essentially you want them to see maybe headline and a video, that's it, okay? Not like headline, video, buy button, price, and some more copy over here, some more copy over there, that's, that's overwhelming. So let's take a look at these Beautiful seven landing pages that I dug up. Boom. So we have this one. Only $10 for 60 viral scripts. Get these 60 viral fill in the blank video scripts that will get a million views in 60 days for only $10. Okay. So this essentially it. So this is a page from the man Jason Wojo, right? If you know him or not, but essentially it was a Instagram ad. Okay. So this specific page uh, comes, it heavily depends on the offer, right? So the offer is supposed to be dope. So, oh man, I get 60 viral fill in the blank video scripts for only 10 bucks. Man, count me in, right? Now, of course, there's a lot of back end to this. This is a whole funnel. If you watch the funnel building course that I uploaded not too long ago, this would make a little bit more sense. I do highly advise you actually watch that one after this one. But essentially, right, you pay the 10 bucks. Then he's going to be like, oh, yeah, by the way, you want this other thing? That's just a quick 97 bucks. Don't even worry about it. And then you're going to be like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll buy that. And then if you buy that, he's going to be like, oh, okay, well, you bought these two, but you know, you might as well get this other thing for like 400 bucks. And just like that, you thought you were going to buy something for 10 bucks. Now you just give him a homeboy like 600 bucks. Boom. And if you don't get 1 million views in 60 days, a full refund. And I'll send you 100 bucks for wasting your time. So that's one of those irresistible offers. So this is one that is overly simplistic because, again, the offer is $10, right? This comes with the context of marketing. When you really analyze where the traffic comes from, why they come, and what the offer is, then you get to shape your opt-in page and you kind of know exactly what it's for. So these 60 viral scripts have gotten a million views in each of these niches. And then he has a quick checklist. This quick checklist is something you'll see often. These are called bullets. We'll talk about it more later. And then proof. Okay, so these are the testimonials. You're going to notice these a lot as well. Proof that it works. Testimonials of other people saying it's worked in their business. So we're going to do way more of a deep dive as we go on at each structure uh, of this page. But I kind of want to do a quick skim. So also, as I said, like, look at how simple this page is. Right. Black background uh, with some text, with some videos, white background with some text, with some pictures like it ain't rocket science. You really don't have to go hard at it. Um, and anybody can draft this sort of thing up in like Canva. It takes two seconds. OK, so and I can tell you for a fact, this simple sales page, this simple, simple, simple sales page is easily bringing in, dude, hundreds of thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands. Easy every month. Easy. 
Um, he didn't create it. I know for a fact he didn't create it. Not because he's not good at it or he can't do it, but why would he? He's a business owner. He has people do that. You know, as a business owner, you care more about time than you care about money. He would, bro, this sales page right here, probably, some, somebody probably got paid two to three grand to make it easy. Two to three grand. Boom. And look at it. It looks like a word doc. Damn near. So that was example number one, my friends. Example number two, attention wholesalers and real estate investors, how brand new wholesalers are making extra money using an AI deal finder in just eight minutes. Quick paydays of $3,000 to $20,000 per deal. No complicated software or sales skills required. Attend and get my deal analyzer, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so this is a registration page for a live event. Okay, so again, this one is very, very short, simple, and sweet. I'm not, somebody probably did not get paid three grand to make this. This is probably just like a five minute thing, right? Um, but again, really, really simple, really, really easy, but highly effective. If you don't know what these are, essentially you show up to these and at the end they pitch you something and then they make a lot of money, right? Um, so, the first thing that he does in his headline is call out the, he calls out the audience, okay? Now, um, just really quickly going over the anatomy of a headline, we have the eyebrow copy right here, which is usually about, you know, either the offer or calling out the audience, kind of like how this one did here. And then you have the actual headline itself, and then you have the, uh, the deck copy, which is kind of just like a little bit more about it, which is this right here, boom. So again, guys, you're going to, you're going to, I have seven landing pages here. You're going to notice a lot of patterns. Okay. Just by simple, simple pattern recognition, you're going to be like, oh, okay, I get it now. Okay. Cause when we look at all of these and all of these as well are not cherry picked, right? I, I literally picked um, a whole bunch of good ones that I just found. Okay. So what's this one? Agency owners, coaches, and consultants. What is he doing again here in the eyebrow copy? He's calling out his audience. Learn how you can fill your pipeline with 100 plus qualified appointments every single month, guaranteed. This is the fastest and cheapest way to scale your marketing agency, consulting or coaching businesses to 100K plus per month profit without spending a dollar on ads or fancy softwares. Enter your name and email below to get access for the free training. So what is this? This is an opt-in page. Free training for your information. Boom. Yes, I want access now. And then I'm pretty sure, yeah, exactly. So it has this GIF, so it looks like a video. So you want to play it. But then when you play it, the uh, text comes up. Very, very simple. Again, um, these type of things, like he's running ads to this, right? So let's say 10,000 people sign up, right? Uh, 5,000 people actually show up or watch the live. And then out of that, they have like a low percentage of people who actually get in on a high ticket price. This is easily probably like a five to $10,000 offer. So if they get, let's say 10 people in at 10,000 bucks, boom. $100,000 made with this really, really overly simple um, opt-in page right here. Boom. Okay, next. Learn the most future-proof skill set to building real wealth in 2023. From absolute, absolutely zero experience to top 1% in less than 60 days. So, notice that these headlines are, of course, they're big promising. Um, and this one specifically doesn't have any eyebrow copy. No big deal. Um, they're not always you know, the exact same structure, but you're kind of starting to recognize the pattern, right? Big promise and then you know, a, a variable of the big promise. And usually at the top, it either calls out the audience or does something similar. So, um, and then here, this one is actually a VSL, a video sales letter, okay? So this is him doing a very short six minute video on why you should get in and purchase. Read on to learn and then bullets, okay? This, 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 and this. Again, we're going to break this down in more detail as we go on. But it introduces him. And also, it tells you you can get in for just 997 today. Okay? And then here, in this one, we actually have some copywriting. So, again, notice some of the key differences. So, on an opt-in page, you don't really need much. Right? It's not a really hard sell. Um, opt-in page, a registration page, not a hard sell. $10 page. Right? A little bit more stuff here. But again, it's only ten dollars, not a big deal. No code boot camp, a thousand bucks. You're gonna need some copy, some testimonials, some more copy, some more copy, and a whole bunch of buttons. Boom. Okay. So, so you can see as the price increases or as the sell gets a little bit harder, you have things like video sales letters and you have more copy, 
right? This is kind of how it goes. And then over here we have next up, my secret formula to selling 52,000 plus courses. Revealed, the slide-by-slide -slide template I use to convert total strangers into high ticket buyers with a simple 90-minute presentation. The exact webinar template I've used to sell 58.6 million from webinars in a four-year window. Boom. Okay. So essentially, this is a course on how to how to make total strangers into high ticket buyers. Boom. This is by the man Anik. So and then you get a product. Boom. That's what you get. Who is Anik and why should you care? A little bit more about the product. And then as you can see, a whole bunch of copy, a whole bunch of copy, a whole bunch of copy. All right. And again, we're going to get really, really deep into what this actually is and how to do it as we go on. But I don't want to read the whole thing right now. So $67 sell. Right. And again, as you can see, this is a more copy heavy um, sales page. And this sales page would probably cost a lot. Like this is probably one of the two thousand or three thousand dollar sales pages, right? And I mean, if you think about it, two like let's say it's three thousand, right? And he's selling it for seventy seventy bucks. So all he really needs to do is, I mean, he's selling hundreds of these. There's there's no doubt, right? So he sells one hundred of them, and he just made seven grand, basically, one hundred, one hundred people. I mean, this guy has, if you really think about it. Hundreds of thousands of people in his audience. How hard do you think it is to sell a hundred? I mean, he probably sold thousands, right? So he's making like 70K plus. So um, that kind of gives you a better idea as to why people are willing to pay that much for a simple sales page. And this sales page is not actually super simple, right? So you see we have some bullets, we have some text, um, then we have some uh, features here, and we have a lot about each and everything of what's inside, right? So... That's another thing that, like I said in the very beginning, a lot of it is just showing people what's inside and telling them exactly how it's going to help them. So don't impress, be relatable, more about step number two, step number three, and of course, step number four, and so on and so forth, and exactly what's in it, and exactly why it's going to help you make a lot more money, right? Boom. That was number five. And of course, we've got to check out number six. Uh, okay, so this one's just like a, a really easy one. This one's just for a 14-day trial. Right, sell like Sir Hand. I don't know if you guys know that guy, but it's just a really quick membership. So notice how this one's a little bit different. You see how it looks a little bit more professional, a little bit more upscale. Well, it's because it's for business owners, first of all, and it's like a free trial app thing. Okay, it's like a free trial app thing. So that's why it looks a little bit different from the other ones. But still, again, look at how simple this is. Gray background, white background, some pictures here, some things there. Right, this one's um, formatted quite nicely, but realistically, the copy and stuff, it's all quite simple. It's all quite easy. And we'll check out another one over here, the last one. Boom. Passion.io. So save $1,704. Boom. The number one mobile app builder for coaches and creators. So calling out his audience and telling them exactly what it is. Create and sell online courses, build communities, and focus on what's important all with your own app. Boom. 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can see that's a strong headline, right? Risk reversal, and you get to save money, and this is what it's good for. Then some nice pictures, um, then some reviews, last chance offers, some copy right there. Launch your app in three simple steps, okay? Now it's explaining exactly what you get in a very short, concise way. I mean, look at this. One sentence, one sentence, one sentence, one sentence. Um, and some punchy copy right here. And then exactly. So telling you even more about what you get. Um, okay, so that was that was the real fast, quick and dirty look over all of them. Now you know all of the sales pages that we're going to be going over, but I'm going to go into them really, really in depth here in a moment. So how do we actually structure these landing pages? Okay, so notice. So you notice all the patterns. You, you saw exactly what they looked like. So the first three questions that people ask when they come to a new website is, who is this for? Is this for me? Should I be looking at this? Next is, why should I care? You know, because the thing is, people have attention spans shorter than anything, right? They're just scrolling through their phone, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. They're not going to look at something they don't care. And next, of course, is what's in it for me, right? They're similar, but they're different. What's in it for me is like, okay, but why should I do exactly what they're saying to do? 
So when we know all of these three questions that they're going to ask, we can answer them before you know, they, they even ask them in their head. So this question is usually answered by calling out the intended audience in the very beginning, like we saw so many times. Coaches, consultants, course creators, right? Um, that's exactly what most people do. Next is why should I care? This can be either pointing out a relatable problem that the reader can solve or highlighting a specific benefit. So coaches and creators, um, are you having trouble selling more courses or do you want to sell more co courses in an intuitive way? Do you want to reduce churn on your product? Um, for example, Next, what's in it for me? This section is about communicating value and making people feel as though they're getting much more than what they pay for. So the what's in it for me is exactly where you see, okay, well, you get this, 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 all for this small price. And you get this, and this is how it's going to help you, right? Explaining exactly what it, what's in the product, how it's going to help you, and how it's going to solve all your problems. So landing page blocks. You got to understand that landing pages, like I just said, are, are very, very much of a pattern. They're very much of a pattern. They all have the same blocks and they all are similar and do similar things. So first of all, the headline, of course, this is the first line of text that the visitors will see on the landing page. Headlines are crucial because they are responsible for capturing the attention of visitors and convincing them to stay on the page. The hook of content is always the most important part because without an effective lead, nothing else matters. Think of a reel, think of a YouTube video, think of a book. If you don't like that first little bit, the rest of it can be amazing. The rest of the book can be amazing. The rest of the YouTube video can be amazing. You mess up that beginning, it don't matter. It doesn't matter. That's why your headline has to be dialed in, okay? Your headline has to be the, the thing that you spend the most time obsessing over. So for example, um, some headlines here that we just checked out, right? You can see how, how similar they are. Calling out, calling out their audience, wholesalers and real estate investors, agency owners, coaches and consultants, See how, how like similar they are? And then a big promise. How, did I, how brand new wholesalers are making extra money with using an AI deal finder in just eight minutes. Next, learn how you can fill your pipeline with 100 plus qualified appointments every single month, guaranteed. They're specific and they're promise-based. Learn how to build the most future-proof skill set to building real wealth in 2023. Or get these 60 fill-in-the-blank viral scripts that will get you 1 million views in 60 days for only $10. They're all very strong headlines. They're all very punchy. So bullet points, right? This is another uh, thing that we've seen a lot of, right? And a lot of times we've seen multiple bullet points um, in the same sales page because bullet points are a great way to convey value and information in a concise, as, uh, concise of a manner as possible. People love to skim, right? People are like, okay, I got to the page. I don't want to waste any time. Just tell me what it is. Just give it to me right? Just get to the point. So that's how we do it here. So these 60 viral scripts have gotten 1 million views in each of these things. So essentially why he's putting this there is because he wants you to know if you're in any single one of these specific industries that this can work for you. Okay. So this one, for example, save 1700 bucks a year this black Friday, what you'll get Custom mobile apps, unlimited subscribers and videos and push notifications, interactive courses, in-app communities and chat, set up with App Ninja, premium app templates, plus live masterclass, expert freedom, million dollar sales script, profitable marketing and masterclass, expert unleashed challenge, and probably even more. Okay. So when you just load up the value like that, like you get this and this and this and this and this and this, it of course increases perceived value, makes people more likely to buy. Again, here's what you get in the membership. Unlimited downloads, activate 30 plus guides, create uh, relationships, take advantage of member exclusive offers on courses and events. Or these bullets, for example, or these bullets, for example, or these bullets, for example. Okay, so these are benefit bullets. These are like what you get bullets. Notice how they're a little bit different. So let's, let's look at some benefit um, bullets. So you will discover my strategies for bringing my audience in and captivating them for a full 90 minute webinar. Exactly how much time you should spend on every single section of your webinar. My favorite strategies for creating compelling content that warms up your audience and creates instant credibility. The top five secrets I've used throughout my career to master in the sales process on live, on live in evergreen webinars. How I layer bonuses in the core products to create irresistible offers. Boom, okay? So what you wanna do here and what he's doing here, he's doing a feature benefit combo, 
right? What that is, is the feature is my strategies for bringing in my audience, okay? The benefit is being able to captivate them for a full 90-minute webinar so they stick around until the end and buy, okay? Or the feature is my top five secrets. The benefit is mastering the sales process and live and evergreen webinars, okay? So the feature is what it is. So like the feature, for example, can be the A16 Apple Bionic chip, but that doesn't mean anything to you. You're like, okay, well, whatever, who cares? The A16 Apple Bionic chip that will let you game and play Call of Duty on your iPhone with the graphics of you playing it on your PC. Now you're like, God damn, that sounds dope, right? Now you know what it does, okay? So very important to know. Man, what is going on, everybody? It is your boy, Tyson4D. I am back. I'm black. I'm ready to attack with a new day, same course. We were talking about belief shift copy. Now, this type of copywriting is used in the landing page to give value and shift the reader's belief while positioning the CTA as the solution to the newly discovered belief. Translation. Okay, so there's, there's a couple things that we have to cover here that go as far as overall copywriting uh, ability and techniques and the context of how it works in a sales page. So in the sales page, sometimes they have this part of the copy where they're talking about what you probably do or what you've been doing, why it hasn't been working for you, and why this new way is much more effective. And if you want to take advantage of this new way of doing things, then your program is the one to get into. I'll give you an example here. Let's say that you have a bodybuilding program, okay? Now, you on your sales page, to, so what's the belief? So in order for there to be a belief shift, there has to be a commonly pre-held notion, okay? Pre-held belief. The pre-held belief is that you have to do a workout split or a bro split, right? You got to go to the gym, do arms, the next day do legs, next day do chest, next day do back or something like that, right? Well, what if I told you that the science actually suggests that if you do arm day every day, for two weeks and then leg day every day for two weeks and so on and so forth that that is actually the optimal way to train don't believe me well this is how uh arnold schwarzenegger and some other classic bodybuilders were actually doing it back in the day so now your belief has shifted okay so now you're like okay bro split out and this new way of bodybuilding is in obviously this is just an example i honestly don't think that this this is what i'm <laughs> describing would necessarily work but stay with me so now that you know the best way to build a lot of muscle is to do eight hour arm days every single day of the week if you want to know exactly how to do that and the specifics that is inside of the program okay so essentially you're not selling the program you're selling the thing that sells the thing Okay, so now that you've shifted their belief, now you can take that new belief and sell uh, based on what you've on the value that you've given them. Okay, it kind of has to do with the problem solution loop that I've talked about previously on my other copywriting course. If you haven't seen the other copywriting course, you got to go check that one out too because a lot of this will make a whole ton more sense to you. So let's give some examples. So earn more, work less. Stop chasing new clients. Stand out from the competition on social media. Be one of the few to offer a branded native app, one that will convert followers into high paying clients. So what is he saying here? Essentially, the belief shift is that you, so your pre-held belief is that you have to chase new clients, right? But instead of chasing new clients, you should build a native app that will also help get people through your sales funnel. So turn followers into high paying clients by using an app. If you want to use, if you want to do that, then passion.io, the app builder, is what's for you. So see, he's selling the thing that sells the thing. He's not selling the product as much as he's selling the idea. Let's look at another one. Um, I've been a digital marketer for over 21 years. Nothing helped me scale my business more than webinars. So what is Anik going to do? So Anik is not going to tell you this product is so good. Okay, at least not in this section. This product is so good. The price is out of this world. It's going to make you so much money. What is he doing instead? He's instead saying, look, webinars are the way. Okay, you're probably out here doing all this other stuff, posting yourself on Instagram and doing all this unnecessary stuff when all you really need to do is do some webinars and it will make you millions. That's what I've done over 21 years and webinars, webinars, webinars. Now that you know that webinars are the bomb, the best way to take advantage of webinars is to get the product. You see what I'm saying? Belief shift copy. He's selling the thing that's selling the thing. He is giving you the problem solution loop. 
So I've been selling courses online for more than 21 years now. I literally started my business from my college dorm room selling information on CDs that I burned on my own computer. Trust me, I've seen it all when it comes to selling information online. But nothing, I mean nothing, has helped me scale my information business more than webinars. I first stumbled upon webinars eight years ago. Nothing has ever been the same for, for my companies. To prove that point, I had my team crunch the numbers for me. What they came back with was absolutely shocked me. We drove $58.6 million in sales from webinars in a four-year window. We invested $18 million in paid ads for webinar in the three years. And we bought over 1.7 million clicks from our ads in three years. Boom. So that's how powerful webinars are. Now that you know how powerful webinars are, you need to know how to run a good one, which is exactly where the My Top 5 Webinar Secrets course comes into play. But wait, there's more. There's another one. So this is the, um, the SaaS guy. If you don't know what SaaS is, it's basically software. Right? This is the dude who's showing you how to create a software. So you make money based on what the market needs. It's a simple equation of supply and demand. You've heard it millions of times. And the demand for devs right now uh, and for the next five years, it's extremely high. The supply, far, far too low. What does that mean for you? You have a unique opportunity to provide services at an unsaturated market. You can charge essentially whatever you want for those services because nobody else can do what you do. You get to see the inside of what works and what doesn't and use the information to create your MVP. So what is he saying here? Essentially, this part of the copy is the justification as to why becoming a developer is the best. And of course, if you want to learn how to become a developer, then you should get inside the program. Again, selling the thing that sells the thing. Your preconceived notion is that you should do drop shipping or social media marketing agencies or something, something else. When in reality, here you have a unique chance to uh, have, a, have an unsaturated market where the supply is super low and the demand is super high. Okay, So now your belief has shifted from SMMA to social uh, SMMA to software. And now that you believe software is the way, now you need this course to actually go ahead and learn it. Okay. So very, very good examples here. And um, not every single page needs this. Again, if it's an opt-in page or registration page, something that's an easy sell, not really that, um, that needed. But if it's something like an app or something that costs 60 bucks or something that costs a few hundred bucks, then this is probably where you're going to want to spend some time as well. This is something that's also very common in things like emails. Okay, but testimonials and case studies, something else that, of course, we need that is very important. The goal here is to build social proof by showcasing the results that you've gotten for others who are in the reader's current struggling position and have made it to the reader's desired goal. Okay, so understand that. Yes. Okay. The result itself is important. Let's say this dude was like, yeah, I got this guy and he went from uh, software or he, he went from just not having any software, no background to making $5,000 every single month with his software without having to do that much work, right? The software basically runs itself or his team runs it. Okay, good. Now, there's more to testimonials and case studies than just that, right? So there's the results, but then there's the story behind it. So you have homeboy who, you know, he tried SMMA, he tried drop shipping, he tried day trading, and none of them worked out. In fact, most of them lost a whole bunch of money. He was probably around $5,000 to $10,000 in the pit before he even thought that he would try social media, before he would even thought he would try software. And he was super, super skeptical about it. He wasn't really sure, but he knew that he had to do something because he literally needed money. He only really had one shot left. So he laid it all on the line. He tried it. And then he started making a lot of money. And now he can do things like support his family and enjoy life's luxuries. Right. So the result is the results. You know what amount that he got or how much he made and what amount of time. But the story is also just as important because it helps the reader identify with that person. And they think, hey, if someone else was in the exact same situation that I am in right now and this got them to exactly where I want to go, then this could be the answer for me as well. OK, and you'll see that with the testimonials coming up. So customer reviews. Over 10,000 creators have worked with Passion.io to scale their business. Read the reviews here. So I'll read a couple here. Passion.io support is great. Um, I love access to the support and the support is second to none. So. That's a huge other thing um, with apps. Since this is an app, it's a little bit different from the other ones we're going to look at. But man, I can tell you right now, I've been dealing with PayPal and their terrible support. 
bro. <laughs> support is something that's extremely, extremely a big part of every single software because stuff goes wrong, especially when when there's like a lot of money involved. It's like I depend on PayPal, for example, to pay my guys. This is why Stripe is so much better. Stripe, you send them an email and they email you back. PayPal, they're like, sorry, we're closed right now. You got to wait for a couple of days. Crazy, craziness. Okay, so understand that they're talking to people's biggest um, biggest concern, right? Which is why the, the top three um, are about support, right? That's no coincidence. Let's look at this one. In the beginning of 2023, I was lost with no plan and no direction. So some people might be feeling exactly like that. Again, remember, there's a story behind it, and then there's the actual results. I decided to join the community, and I was hooked. I have found renewed knowledge, uh, training I never knew I needed. I took one step that immediately led to two deals, and I got three more. Boom. Awesome result. And then Mr. Andy over here. I love what this community is doing for agents all around the world. The strategies are immediately actionable for anyone just getting started or industry version, industry veterans like myself. So again, what is he telling you? So also, okay, there's different angles to this. So there's the one person who has never done this before and they felt stuck. Then there's this other person who was a veteran. He was doing good, but he wanted to do even better. Right? So they're taking every single one of their ideal target audience members and they're showcasing them in the testimonials. I'm in another real estate group online and the caliber of agents and discussions we have in the Sell Like Sirhan group show that we are definitely a step above the rest. Okay, so what is this doing? This is essentially, um, the expression is casting stones, right? Casting stones at the competition, essentially telling you that, hey, I've been, I've tried these other things before. They didn't work out because of X, Y, and Z. Whereas this one actually did work out because they whatever, pay extra close attention to detail, for example. Here's some other ones. Jason Wojo leaves me and my wife speechless. He tripled our sales to $210,000 the next month in the first 30 days. This is what you call the Wojo effect. And then his video testimonials. Video testimonials are extremely strong because anybody can put some text in some person's name like this. But uh, video testimonials to kind of just go that extra mile, okay? And the story, of course, um, him and his wife are speechless, tripled. That's the, uh, and then that's the result right there. And in the video, he talks more about the story. Okay. So now we need to talk about the value stack. Okay. So again, these are all sections. And at the end of this, I'm going to show you exactly what order you want to put all these sections in. But again, we looked at like seven sales pages and notice how they all essentially have like the same stuff. Value stack. The goal is to get the reader to know everything that they're getting, uh, that they're going to get. And that individually, each component sells for much more than the landing page is asking. So let's see what that means. Here's a recap of everything you're getting in the webinar mastery templates. So free bonus, free bonus, free bonus, free bonus, free bonus. So all these things and all these things added up is $197. But today I'm going to give it to you for just $67. See, people don't buy things that are worth it. People buy things that are worth more than they pay. Remember that. Sure, people might buy a box of cereal, but people are way more likely to buy a box of cereal if it's quote unquote on sale. Even if you have a dollar or a five dollar box of cereal, right, and it's not on sale, people aren't going to buy it. But if you move the price up to seven dollars, and then the next week you say we slash the price now instead of seven dollars, it's five dollars. Now it's going to run up the price. Every business, every everything does it. This is just the game, okay? So essentially, that's what this is here. Again, you save $1,704 a year this Black Friday because um, instead of it being $239, now it's $97. And here is exactly what you get, a bullet point list of exactly what you get, just like here. Another one. Um, so you get this, which is worth $1,000. It's a bonus for free. This, which is worth $4,000, bonus for free. This, $2,500, bonus for free. Boom. Again, you're about to get access to this, 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 and all of these bonuses. All of these bonuses as well. Usually, all this added up would be, what is this? Goddamn, 10 grand, 9997. But now you're going to get it for just 997. Boom. Pretty straightforward. Okay. And then some closing copy. This is what you have, again, I mean, like the name suggests, at the end of the sales page or landing page. The closing copy is to recap everything given um, in the page that was already stated. This is usually the second to most read piece of copy. And it might be kind of weird because you're thinking, okay, the very first piece 
is the first most viewed. And the very last piece is the second most viewed. How does that make sense? Well, it's because a lot of people just skim to the bottom. A lot of the times when you reach a page, you literally just take your mouse and you go like that and you go, okay, well, what's, what's the bottom? What is this? What is the price? What is everything? I want to know exactly what it is. I don't want to waste any time on it. And so that's why people just scroll right to the bottom. So you have to account for that, right? These are going to be the most read pieces of your copy. So it's important that they're, um, that you spend a lot of time on them. So this, my friends, is called a crossroads close and it's used very, very, very often. So this is in the software page. And now you have two options. You can either A, forget everything you just read about building the most valuable skill set in the short and long term and lose out on the opportunity to make multi six figures in the least competitive niche in the market. Or B, you can take advantage of the Bitcoin of 2023, start today, master a high income skill in six weeks with the help of myself and one of the most elite experienced developers in the no code game. This isn't just another make money online scheme that you can maybe profit off of for maybe a few months tops. This is a skill that you'll be able to use to set yourself up for life. And all you have to do is spend less than 90 days devoting an hour a day minimum. And in that time, you'll learn how to create software for the highest paying clients in the industry, how to build softwares that can sell for six, seven, eight figures and spend the rest of your time doing literally whatever you want. If you want to claim your golden ticket to success, click the button below and you'll get instant access to this offer before it's gone. So boom, essentially wrapping up everything that he's, that he's told you and being like, look, okay, now you have two options. You can forget what, everything I just said, or you can be the one who takes action and changes their life for good, which is, which is going to be you. Okay. A very, very common type of close. Um, now we have the one from the real world. Money making is a skill. Like every other skill, it can be learned. And the, and the speed at which it is learned depends on your coaches and the learning environment you are taught in. Our coaches know the business models they teach. They know what it takes to be profitable. And they are the first to identify and utilize new disruptive technologies and strategies whenever they appear. The real world is the ultimate all-in-one learning platform guiding you from making your first dollar online to scaling into a multi-million dollar business. There is no better place on the planet to learn how to make money online today. Boom. Final thoughts. Their final big last bullet of justification. And then, of course, the uh, which one is this again? This is another crossroads close from Educate, Iman Gadji's course. So which one of them are you? At the end of the day, there's two types of people. So essentially it comes out to creating a dichotomy and being like, well, are you a dork? Are you a loser? Or are you an action taker who actually wants to make it happen for yourself? That's essentially what they're doing. So are you the observer or the action taker? So the observer, these are the type of people who are always searching for the next new hot opportunity. When faced with one, they find an excuse to not take action and end up observing the success of others who decided to take action on the same opportunity they missed or are you the action taker those who are the type those are the type of people who when went faced with an opportunity my boy y'all got a you got a whole typo on your sales page here when faced with the opportunity take action and work to build their own success they're the go-getters they're the ones that over the long term end up achieving their wildest dreams and enjoying the spoils of their decisions. And now it's time to decide which one of them are you going to be? This is a decision only you can make. Boom. Again. uh, And then, of course, that was uh, Mr. Iman Gadji's $1,500 course. So you can learn copywriting for $1,500 or you can learn copywriting for free on YouTube on this channel like I've been telling you guys, okay? So $1,500 for a basic copywriting course or, you know, free free four-hour courses on YouTube. I don't know. You guys pick. Another point is, of course, stat points. Now, stat points are very a good way to add justification and support to your claims um, without getting people to try to trust you. You know, if, if something is just a number, a report, then, you know, you can't really argue with statistics or facts. So, for example, where agents collaborate and grow. So this is from the Sell Like Sirhan one. So 1,700 plus high performing agents globally, 110 countries in your referral network and 6,000 plus minutes of workshop replays available. Boom. So there's the numbers. There's exactly what you are getting um, so that it gives people something actually to grab onto. 
Um, and then here, again, he's showing proof of exactly how many views and how many subs that he got just by posting these shorts um, with the, I don't know, with the Wojo course thing. Okay, so he's showing you the, his, his own results. He's showing you the actual numbers. And of course, next we have the real urgency slash scarcity. The feeling of missing out drives many people to making decisions and we can use this to our advantage by incorporating genuine urgency into our copy. Of course, it has to be genuine. It has to be real. And there should always be a good reason. For example, nobody sells out of ebooks. You know, it's an ebook. It's a download. You can't sell. You can't sell out of it. It's just it doesn't work like that. OK, so the same thing goes here. You can't expect urgency or scarcity to do anything if it's just fake. Right. If you're like, oh, well, make sure you buy now. Otherwise, the price is going to change really, really quickly. Well, you're going to be like, well, why? And when exactly is the price going to change? Right. So it doesn't really work on like higher sophisticated buyers if it's not real. So, for example, total value of the no code boot camp for a thousand bucks from Friday, November 24th at midnight until Monday, November 27th at midnight. You're getting access to all of this for nine nine seven. On Monday, the price will increase to $14.97 and stay there. Over this weekend, go through and learn as much as you can from this course because the first session is on Tuesday. Okay, there, he tells you. First of all, first session on Tuesday. Second of all, the price increases at November 27th. So that's exactly why you need to get in now. The real reason as to why you need to get in now. No fluff, no anything. Now, this is the real world. Um, <laughs> enough said, okay? They, they essentially don't use much justification because they understand that a lot of the people who get in are not the most sophisticated of buyers. So for example, warning, price increasing soon. Locking your price of 499.99. The price will increase to 147 a month. It's your last chance. Hundreds of thousands of students have already joined the real world and are on their way to financial freedom. Join now because the price increases to 147 a month. Don't miss this opportunity. Bro, I'm telling you for the last two years, they've been saying they're going to increase it to like 200 bucks since I joined two years ago. And it's still four ninety forty nine ninety nine, which I'm not hating about. But I mean, like, <laughs> it's not that great of scarcity if it's just fake, straight fake. Anyways, as I was saying, building your first opt in page. What exactly does this look like and what does it entail? So essentially, we have a data driven insight. So use analytics tools like Google Analytics to collect a valuable data on visitor behavior and conversion rates. Okay, so when it comes to pages, like, yes, there's things like, oh, well, I think that this headline is better than this headline. I think that this part or this style is better than this style. Well, the only way to objectively find out is to have uh, basically a testing page, like a split test, right? So you have page number one versus page number two. 10,000 people go to each. Which one do people buy from now? Buy from more. That's the numbers that you want to use to to actually say, okay, well, I think we should go with this, with this style because it just makes more money. Okay. So, and then next, of course, is the conversion funnel analysis. Analyze your conversions funnel to identify any bottlenecks and optimize your landing page accordingly. So, a lot of the times, you know, landing page, great, but can the emails be, um, be improved as well? Right. So, when you have a funnel, you have multiple steps. So let's say from your email list, you have a link to your landing page. That email, is going to uh, determine exactly what type of people actually get to that landing page and how many people get to that landing page. If the email is dookie and only 500 people show up, then of course the landing page isn't going to produce as much money because not that many people are showing up. But if again, you just double the amount of people that get into the sales page, then you double the amount of money that the sales page makes. But then there's something else. So let's say you're sending out emails, but you're also doing ads. You're paying for ads. Well, those same people, right? Let's say you get 50 people that get, go there, but only 10 people buy from, your, um, from ads, right? Because ads don't convert as well because they don't know your brand. So these are all things that you need to take into account when you're creating your, your funnel and when you're creating your opt-in page and your landing pages. Now, this is something you're really going to want to learn about uh, in the free funnel course that I did. Because it goes over all of this in depth and we look over funnel after funnel after funnel after funnel. Next, of course, is A-B split testing. So experiment with different design elements, CTAs and headlines to continuously improve your landing page. Let's say you create a landing page and you're like, okay, good, boom. It makes a lot of money and it works. No matter what landing page it is, you can always work on increasing it. 
Okay, so get the data, see how it performs, and then either change the the headline or change some things about the copy or change the end, the closing copy or something like that to see how it stacks up and how it performs and if you can do even better. Next, when building an opt-in page, it's important not to overwhelm the reader. Tell them what they'll get and how it will help them and then show them where to put their information, right? So especially when it comes to opt-in pages, which is the ones where you're just getting their information, like I showed you guys before, those are the ones that are least complicated. Essentially, it's like maybe a video, a title, exactly what you're going to get and what you're going to learn and a place to put in your information. That's it. So building your first sales page, usually it is structured as such. So first of all, you call out your audience. You say gym owners, course creators, uh, consultants, and then you want to uh, answer what's in it for them. Okay. So tell them why should they care? Do you want to add an extra 100 clients to your client base? Um, so you can start reaching that seven figure mark. Boom. Create strong intrigue. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that with three easy steps that I call the MacBook method, right? The MacBook method. I don't know what that actually is. It's a unique mechanism, but you could, again, it's just an example of intrigue. Identify the problem. Look, a lot of agencies try to get clients by doing things like cold outreach or running ads when really these are just money pits that never actually work and are oversaturated, right? And provide, provide the solution. When realistically, what you want to do instead is use affiliates. Detail the benefit benefits. With affiliates, you can you know get, get leads per cheap, um, you can do this, you can do that. Okay, more benefits, like I showed you. Social proof. Don't believe me? Well, look at these guys who are all winning because they are using the affiliate method. Value stack. So today, you can get not only the affiliate method, but also the MacBook method, and you can get this, and you can get that, and you get these other things. And then all of this is worth well over $10,000, but you can get it today for just $1,000. Closing copy. Look, um, do you want to be like the hundreds of other agencies owners who are essentially pu pushing a boulder up a hill every single month? They're searching, searching, searching for clients and is essentially a feast and famine cycle. Or do you want a way that's essentially going to passively fill your pipeline with ready to buy high quality leads? The, uh, the choice is yours and that's some genuine scarcity. If you get it today then you get it at this low price, but if you wait another five days, you're going to have to pay 1500 instead of the 1000 and you know you're going to miss out on some of the more, more valuable calls that I'm doing soon All right so i essentially just came up with a sales page in my head off the top of my head using this structure but this is the exact structure that you're going to going to want to go into um the biggest inspiration from this actually came from Sabri Subri but also essentially this is how every single sales page is uh, structured okay so action steps guys you know how to do the whole sales page things now you understand exactly how to do it. I gave you example after example after example. You do not have to go far to find a sales page. So what I want you to do now, okay, but you know, information is nothing without action. So let's do these really, really quick steps. First of all, comment any questions you have down below. Even if you don't have a question, just leave a comment. Even if you want to say cool video because you finished it and this actually gave you value, then let me know down below and it will tell me that I should create more videos just like this. Okay. Next, of course, is to consume more relevant info. Like I was saying, the uh, free sales funnels course, this one is insane. Okay. The free sales funnels course is definitely a must watch. It's how to create an automatic profit machine. We don't just talk about uh, we don't just talk about landing pages. We also talk about landing pages in the context of like email marketing or your content, so on and so forth. And of course, guys, if you want to know how to get more clients, uh, easy, done for you, fill in the blank copywriting templates, outreach templates, and literally everything else you could think of to get your copywriting career started, that is in the free copy starter kit linked down below in the description. And of course, what you're going to want to do is create your first sales page. Go on one of the free uh, softwares that I showed you guys in the beginning of this video and go out there and make your first sales page. Just practice, create your first one, see exactly what it's like. It's really, really, really easy. If you can create like, if you can start posting on Instagram or you got Instagram figured out and you know how to use it or you know how to use an iPhone, you know how to create a sales page. It's really, really that easy these days. Next, of course, once you've created your sales page, you're going to want to review it or have other people review it and say, hey, what do you guys think? Is this good? How should I fix it? How can I make it any better? 
And you're going to want to do that by going down to the description and joining the free 4D copywriting server. You can also go to the copy submissions tab, submit your uh, sales page for review, and you can get some feedback on it. Anyways, guys, that is it for today. And of course, make sure you watch those other videos and do all those other action steps. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.